Easy as that. Hello and uh, welcome to the uh, Hog Father YouTube channel. Uh, today we're out on the Samurai. Um, great boat. Uh, I'll talk you through a few things. Um, hull originated, as far as everybody knows, as a Teal 16. Shares the same hull as the uh, Warrior Mark 1. And uh, Arnie put his own top on it. Now, excuse the mess because I am out fishing. Just put some big baits out, so uh, I should hopefully have some time. Just fishing off the uh, Norbeck Castle there in a bit of a hole. Uh, right, what can I say about the uh, the Samurai? It moves very well, cuts through the water very well. Uh, now, that's a 1998. Evinrude 60 VRO. I have had it converted to a 70 so and it pushes this boat along at about 31 mile an hour so yeah not too bad at all um, what else is there it's got very high sides as you can see from the uh, measuring thing here you're talking nearly 80 millimeters oh well let's uh, see what this fish is excuse the uh, Excuse the video. Now I have been plagued with a few dogs today, but to be honest, the pest of the day has been tote pups. But yeah, this is a dog. Right, I don't need to show you that. I'll come back to you when I've got rid of it. Well, got rid of that dogfish. Got about 40 today, but never mind. Uh, two seats, helm, a couple of lockers up the front, opening hatch. Like I say, decent, really decent to two man. I wouldn't really fish any more than, than two on these little boats. As you can see, there's approximately five and a half feet from the seats to the back of the boat. A lot of people moan that you're losing some space because of these seats but to be honest other boats in this class start their wash well there so you're only losing four or five inches and you've got two seats so yeah that's uh, not too bad right my my view on this boat is i like it it tra travels through the water beautifully but at anchor it's not a sea trooper and it's not a commodore but those two boats don't travel as well so it's uh, a catch-22 what do you want to do now to me I bought a brand new sea trooper as everyone aware um, I was very pleased with that boat very pleased with how it handled um, but I ended up getting a 60 horsepower Tahatsu which I regretted a little bit um, I always wanted a 90 Tahatsu TLDI on it, but I just couldn't find one. Um, and then a few things happened and I just had a little tantrum and sold it. So I got a Samurai, this is my, uh, probably my second favourite boat. And uh, yeah, it's, if, you're going out, if you're going out any distance, this is the boat you want. But if you're going out a mile or two or five, um, and you go on nice-ish days and to be honest the cathedral hull is 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 probably better but if you're going out a distance this will cut the water like a speedboat so I mean in the boat apart from a pointy front it's very similar to the Seahog Sea Trooper it's got the same and the Commodore they've all got the sort of similar tops similar insides it's just the shape of the hulls. Tote bait's getting a bit of interest there. Got a large mackerel on that. So let's see what happens. I'll put you on my uh, on my head. Do bear with me. Oh my god! We've got both rods going off. That'll be a dogfish. This, not sure, something's 
something's having a go on it. Bring this in. Not even going to strike at this because I'm pretty much sure it is a dogfish and I hope it falls off. Well, and it has. Right. Right, what was ever playing with that? Was decided it's not going to play anymore. Those worms have had it a little bit, so I'll refresh the bait and I'll get back to you. Well, that's me back again. So, a roundup of the samurai. Great boat. I wish I'd stop catching fish, to be perfectly honest. Great boat. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. Fantastic boat, to be perfectly honest. Um, all the people with the fancier versions of this boat, uh, who, or even people with this boat, who slag off the cathedral hoods, hulls, saying they slap. All boats slap. This boat slaps. Uh, it cuts the water very well, planes very well. Smaller engine gets you on the plane probably quicker than a cathedral hull. Um, but there's not a lot in it. Trooper, Commodore, there you come for your boats on on on, on a, at anchor. Um, this boat, the Samurai, the Warriors. That's what you want if you're going 20 miles out to a out to a rig, um, out to a wreck, should I say, not a rig. And uh, yeah, that's what you want. But when you get out there, you got a pair. I mean, it's flat calm today. And you've got quite a, a bit of a rock on. That's what a V-hull will do for you. But it's a compromise. V-hull, better at speed. Cathedral hull, better at anchor. You just got to work out at what point do you spend most of your day. Okay, thanks a lot. No, it's not bad. It's not liking the look of my boat. Oh look, there we go, it's a nice size. Really not liking the colour of my boat. As you can see, I'm not a million miles out, probably two miles off the beach. Not a lover of these Accius, to be honest. Probably just not used to it. Still wanting to take a bit of line. Well, I'm quite a lot of bit of drag there, to be honest as well. I'm playing this on uh, 40 pound braid with a 200 shot leader or trace, whatever you want to call it. There's my mackerel. See if I can get a little bit of up. Ah, uh, yeah, it's quite, quite quite a nice fish that. Quite a nice fish indeed. 
still not ready to come on board though. <laughs> Shake of the head there, and a big dive again. Still not liking this. Oh, big shake of the head there. No point bringing it into the boat too early. You'll end up fighting with it. Always ring at the wrong time, don't they? Right, I'm going to try and get this lead off. There's one last thing to worry about. There we go. I don't know whether you can see that. Let me get it on board and I'll bring you back. There you go.